My hint for the first problem is always make sure to think through all of the combinations for each, each option. Be sequential. Don't jump around. Think through every possibility one step at a time. Our problem states, at Crest Pizza Shop, you have the option of either hand-tossed, thin, or deep dish crust. You are also allowed to pick one topping, pepperoni, sausage, or cheese. How many different types of pizza can you make? At first thought, you may just think, well, three crusts, three toppings, six choices. But if you start thinking through sequentially, you're going to realize there's a lot more than that. I would start by my first uh, type of crust, which is hand-tossed. Then I get to pick one topping, maybe pepperoni. I can still have hand-tossed, but at this time have cheese. Last but not least, I could have hand-tossed and sausage. You realize there that with one type of crust, you can have three different types of pizzas. You would repeat this with your next crust, which is thin. So I could start with thin and pepperoni. I could have thin and cheese. I could have thin and sausage. You've probably noticed a pattern, but just to make sure, we could do our last one, which is deep dish. With deep dish, you could have deep dish and pepperoni. You could have deep dish and cheese. You could have deep dish and sausage. All together, when you count them all up, you end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different options. Since our question says, how many different types of pizza can you make? They just need a number. I would suggest that your answer be nine. And we can see with an organized list, we didn't miss any. Here's another problem that you can use an organized list to help you. Our hint this time is to think through all the possibilities and eliminate them one by one. We're trying to figure out a mystery number, and we have several different clues. The number is less than 100. There is a 7 in the tens place value. There's a 1 digit in the... It, the 1's digit is greater than the tens digit. And the number is odd. Now, starting with your first one, the number is less than 100, you would have a lot of options to consider. So I usually combine the first couple of steps. The number is less than 100, and there's a 7 in the tens place value. That narrows it down drastically. I know that the number must be somewhere in the 70s. It can't be 170. It can't be 270 because it's less than 100. But it should be somewhere in the 70s. So I would brainstorm all my 70s. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. And you can't do 80 because that wouldn't have a 7 in the tens place value anymore. So now I need to look. The ones digit is greater than the tens digit. So there's a lot of numbers I can cross off. Here the ones digit is 0, which is less than 7. That's a no. Here it's a 1, which is less than 7, a 2, which is less than 7, a 3, which is less than 7, a 4, which is less than 7, a 5, which is less than 7, a 6, which is less than 7. Here we have a 7, which is equal to 7, but notice it says that it is the 1's digit is greater than, not equal to, so we can get rid of that one. All we're left with is 78 and 79. Notice how I went through sequentially, one option at a time. My last clue should narrow it down between 78 and 79. It says that the number is odd. That means that it's a, not a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 in the end. It's going to be an odd number, like 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. Well, I know 78 is even, because if I divided this in half, it could be split into two equal parts. It would end up with um, 30, or, yeah, 30, 9 as my two options. Some quick mental math there. 39, because 39 plus 39 is going to give me 78. With 79, though, there is no way for me to split it equally. I would end up with a 39 and a 40, which is not equal. So the only odd number where the 1's digit is greater than the 10's digit, where it has a 7 in the 10's place value, and it's less than 100, would be 79. By thinking through all the possibilities and eliminating them one by one, I was able to figure out my mystery number is 79. So you can see how making an organized list can help you to keep track of all your possibilities and make sure you don't miss anything. Go ahead and move on to your next activity on your center.